Thank you, Monterey. Is everybody in town here tonight? Are we? It's a lot of people. <laughs> Some 8,000 on the Central Coast feeling the burn. The Vermont Senator and Presidential Candidate rallying Central Coast support in Monterey and Santa Cruz today. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dan Green. And I'm Erin Clark. We are beginning tonight with our Commitment 2016 coverage. Big day for Bernie Sanders supporters across the Central Coast. Democratic presidential candidate wrapped up the second of three local appearances at a rally in Monterey at Colton Hall tonight. Earlier today, he held a rally in Santa Cruz. Tonight, we have live team coverage starting with Action News reporter Felix Cortez. He's live at Colton Hall with highlights from tonight's rally. The Central Coast once again playing host to a presidential candidate, this time Bernie Sanders, who excited thousands of supporters with the promise to fight to the end despite trailing Hillary Clinton. We're going to go in there with an enormous amount of momentum, and I believe we will leave that convention with the Democratic nomination. The fiery Vermont senator talked about taking on Wall Street, climate change, gay rights, and changing what he calls a corrupt campaign system. Democracy is not about billionaires buying elections. Besides free health care and free college tuition, Sanders hit on topics that hit close to the Central Coast, fracking and excessive use of deadly force by police. That we all understand that using lethal force, killing somebody, is the last response, not the first response. In my view, now is the time to end fracking. Sanders says he's listening to ordinary Americans, many struggling to make ends meet. In the process, he's changing minds, young and old. After this rally, I definitely know I'm, I'm going to vote for him. Making education free is perfect. Even if it's not free all the way, making it cheaper would help so much. He's not a radical. He's just a person that sees the ill of the country and sees that something must be done. Sanders making two campaign stops on the Central Coast Tuesday, hoping to win the state's primary next week. And I'm asking the people of California to help lead us into the political revolution. Thank you all very much. Now again, that crowd estimated at roughly 7,800 people, making it one of the largest gatherings of people outside uh, Colton Hawn. Despite that large crowd, it was relatively peaceful, no problems to report. There were a handful of protesters outside the rallying area, and they were protesting against Hillary Clinton. Aaron, Dan. All right, Felix, thank you. Uh, Bernie Sanders has been defying the odds for many, many years, and I know this actually firsthand because I was just starting my reporting career in Burlington, Vermont, when Sanders won his first elected office. Hi. Hello, Mr. Sanders. How are you? How are you? Been a few it's years, been huh? Been a few years, yeah. Meeting Senator Sanders again was a blast from the past. We go way back. We were both younger. <laughs> <laughs> Incumbent Mayor Bernie Sanders seeking his third term. Yep, that's me just starting my reporting career in Burlington. And that's Bernie Sanders shocking the political establishment by getting elected mayor of Vermont's largest city, defeating a five-term incumbent, by just 10 votes. We caught you by surprise, Gia. Then, as now, Sanders galvanized young people, one of the first to organize on a college campus. And now, 35 years later, he is doing the same thing, inspiring a new generation to get involved. One of the more gratifying aspects of this campaign, to be honest with you, is the scene. Millions of young people coming in and saying, you know what, we want a role in shaping the future of the country we will be living in. And that's just a beautiful thing. California's primary next week may very well decide the fate of the Sanders for President campaign. But win or lose, Sanders is now a player on the national stage, attracting big crowds everywhere he goes. Thinking back to that first win for mayor so many years ago, did he ever imagine he would someday be running for president? No and no, no. I never believed that. Look. People with my political views don't get elected mayor, they don't get elected to Congress, they don't get elected to, mayor, to Senate, and uh, they surely do not 
get elected president. So what we're doing is kind of historical. I think we're tapping a nerve. Now look, Sanders knows the delegate math does not look great for him. Hillary Clinton has a sizable lead. She needs just 71 more delegates to put her over the top. However, he insists he can still win especially if he can get superdelegates to switch allegiances. In the meantime, it is clear he is thoroughly enjoying himself during this campaign. Before heading to Colton Hall, Sanders did take some time to enjoy some of Monterey's popular spots. This is exclusive video of Bernie Sanders on Fisherman's Wharf heading for dinner at Domenico's restaurant. Took a picture with the owners of that restaurant, and they were nice enough to share it with us. And Dan, uh, Bernie did confirm to me that he even made a little time for some body surfing at the state beach this afternoon. 75 years old and still going strong.